Hello there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So here in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how I am going to be prepping a couple of my containers for planting carrots. So I have these large 30 gallon tubs that were uh, previously mineral tubs that the cows used um, that have been washed out and uh, cleaned and now I filled them up with materials and I have been using these tubs for several years. They work great for lettuces, beets, carrots, I've grown a whole variety of things in these tubs. So today I had a couple here that uh, weren't being used so I started getting the soil from previous years kind of worked up and then I'm just going to top it up with a bit more um, peat moss and some fertilizer just to kind of add some more substance to the soil and the peat moss helps that retain that moisture and kind of reduce the heaviness of the soil that's in there right now. So once I've dumped in the peat moss then I'm just going to work it in to the existing potting soil in the tubs with my hands and just kind of work out all the lumps. Get it nice and loose. You want carrots to have nice loose soil so that they can grow long and straight. These tubs are about, you know, two feet deep. So there's lots of room for, for growth on your carrots. You don't want them to uh, reach any hard soil or rocks or material. Otherwise they won't grow long and straight and you'll end up with some crooked or stubby sized carrots. So then once I got that peat moss worked into the soil really well, I'm going to add some fertilizer to the soil. And I like to use this Gaia Green 444 all purpose. I usually just work it into all of my containers every spring just to add a little extra fertilizer to that soil. I just sprinkle it around and again, just work it in with my hands get it all evenly distributed through the soil. I like using my Hori Hori knife here to help really cut into that soil and work everything in and break it up into nice small pieces so you don't have any big chunks. And once I've got this all worked in, then we are ready to get planting our carrot seeds. So even though I'm working in a round container, I like to use my seating square here just to help kind of set out the spacing correctly. And it works best for carrots because you don't overseed your space too much. So I'm using the, the red spots here, which are the best spacing for carrots according to the seating square instructions. And I'm just pushing down and making small divots with the tool here and then I just kind of extend out to the sides using that same um, spacing with the, the red holes here and just create a few more spots that I can put some carrot seeds in. As you can see, Pepper is very interested in what I'm doing here. So I just find this is better than just sprinkling your seeds around. I always have, I have tried that in the past where I'm just going to spread them around and plan on thinning them out later, but it never seems to work out very well. And I always seem to overseed my carrots a little bit. So today I'm going to be doing some Nante Corliss and I'm going to try to just put two or three seeds in each of these little holes and then it'll be easy to thin them out once they start growing and just having a couple in each hole will hopefully ensure that you get some germination and then they will be properly spread out and hopefully get bigger uh, longer carrots out of it. So then after filling all the holes with the seeds, it's just a matter of spreading out the dirt lightly and patting it down. And then it's probably a good idea to give it a good watering. 
So then I'll be doing up my second container the same way, just by pressing in my seating square, marking everything out, and then filling each hole with two or three carrot seeds. So carrot seeds can take 10 to 14 days to germinate so it does take a little bit longer than other vegetable seeds so it's very important to keep that soil well moistened because if carrot seeds dry out even for one day during their germination period you may have a failure in your germination process so you may have seen that some gardeners recommend that you cover your carrot seeds with some cardboard or board along the rows just to keep it moist and watch for germination and then once you have that germination then you can remove that cardboard or board so it's a little hard harder in a circular um, container like this to you know cut something or have a piece of cardboard so what works for me just because I have extra tubs is I just set one right on top here I'm using a brick just for a little bit of weight in case the wind blows it off and every day I just come out, check it for germination, make sure the soil is staying moist, give it a watering, and then just keep this on here. And that will stay there until I start seeing germination. And once that happens, then I can remove this. So I've used that method for a couple years now and it's worked out pretty good. So I just wanna give you a peek at my garden i'm going under a bit of a transformation this year i've removed some of my tubs and replaced them with some galvanized garden beds and this is one that i just received from Growbox. i'm really excited to get it set up and put into place put together really quickly i will leave a link to that company's site below so you can check out their products so I hope that you will subscribe and keep watching for future videos on how my garden gets transformed and to see how the carrot crop makes out this year. So thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video.